Hello everyone. In this session, I'm going to show you how you can do a bubble sort program using Python and Java, both of them. Okay, suppose uh, I have a list over here which has a seven, three, four, two, one, six like this. Okay, so now what you have to do in bubble sort is you have to first compare this first element with the rest of the elements and whether you have to check whether this seven is greater than three. Then if it is greater than three, then in the first iteration, what you have, we have to do is we have to replace three with seven. Okay, so this is what you have to do next. So at the second iteration, seven will be at this position where three is right now. And we have to compare that with the next element that is four. So if it, that is greater, then it will replace itself with that particular number. So how you have to start this is, see, you have to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, see seven times you have to check this particular thing. So what I'll do is, so usually what I suggest is you start an I loop okay that should be in range okay from 1 till the length of the list l1 okay don't start from 0 don't start from 0 okay so in this one what you have to do is you have to loop through each and every element of this particular list l1 so which starts from the index 0 and till the length minus 1 okay so here so i just have to put length minus 1 okay or uh, what what happens in uh, python is uh, the upper boundary whatever the length is it automatically gets deleted by one okay so we don't have to do that in python okay in other programming languages we will have to do that okay so now what we have to do is for j in range i want to start from the zero index so i know seven it has seven is at zero index and it should go all the way till the last index of that particular list l1 so let me just say here the length of whatever the length of l1 is there but uh, what you have to do after each iteration okay one number okay one biggest number is going to move to the end of this okay so at the first iteration this seven is going to be the biggest number is going to be at the last of this particular list so what i'm going to do i'm going to subtract one from that okay because anyways i is starting from one okay now in this loop Okay, in this J loop, all you have to check is if uh, in an if condition, I'll check like whether if this first element that is at L1 of J, okay, L1 of J, if it is greater than, okay, L1 of J plus one, okay, which means whether if seven is greater than three, then we have to interchange them. Okay, so that is the code we have to write now. Okay, so what I'll do, so in a temporary variable, okay, I'll keep the value of L1 of J. Okay. And in L1 of J, I'm going to put L1 of J plus one like this. And in L1 of J plus one, I'm going to put that temporary variable like this. Okay. And this will continue till the end of this particular list. Okay. So once, if, once when it is done, Okay, we'll just uh, have to print the sorted L1. That's it. Okay, now let me just save this program and let's run the code. Okay, so as you can see, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fully sorted. Okay, and now uh, simply for our understanding purpose, I'll just write a one print statement saying that, okay, before sorting, okay, before sorting, and we'll just uh, print that L1 before sorting also. And here, just for our understanding purpose, okay, what I'll do, I'll simply write one print statement here saying that after sorting. So let me just make this indentation properly on the left side, okay, uh, just like this, okay. Now let me just rerun this again. So before sorting, our array was like this, okay, the list. Now after sorting it became one two three four five six and seven. Okay, now let me show you exactly this uh, particular program how you can do it in Java. Okay, so we ha have to make a class like this and which will be having the main function from where the JVM starts a program. So that is called as public static void main. Okay, and in this one, okay, I'll have to create an integer array. Okay, let me call it as a itself. Okay, like this. And now here, like this in curly braces, you will have to enter the values how we entered in the PyCharm code. Okay, so let me just grab these values, seven and put it over here, like this. 
okay so this is how you create an array in java okay now all you have to do is loop so for integer i am going to start from 1 not from 0 please note that okay i should be less than a dot length okay we have a length parameter you can call it as a function as well but we don't put the brackets like this okay so this is not allowed for arrays okay that is allowed only for strings so i'm going to say i plus plus like this open and close curly brace for this and now inside this one i'm going to start a j loop like this integer j is equal to now i'm going to start from the zero index see this is at zero index seven until the length minus one so uh, let me put semicolon here and say j should be less than okay a dot length and minus i value and j plus plus see like this now open curly brace once again and again i'm going to say the if condition saying that if a of j okay if it is greater than a of j plus one sorry i uh, j plus one correct okay then what we need to do we need to create a temporary variable also oh, okay here i made a spelling mistake over here okay so i'm going to say create a temporary variable like this integer t okay in this i'm going to store the a of j value and in a of j i'm going to store a of j plus one then in a of j plus one i'm going to store that temporary variable again like this okay and this is going to go till this i loop what we have done right over here okay and once uh, the array is sorted okay i'll say like this after sorting okay now your array is this much okay so for that for printing also you will have to run a loop from the zero index till the last index just to print the array okay so for integer i equal to zero i should be less than a dot length i plus plus okay and say system dot out dot print ln okay a of i that's it and i don't need this ln part over here because i want it in a horizontal manner so what i'll do i'll just print space after each character of a of i that's it now let me save the program and let me run it and show you guys okay so the array is fully sorted okay now if you want to sort it in the descending order then all you have to do is you just have to make this uh, statement as less than symbol that's it and now when i save it and run it again now it will be sorted in a descending order okay so this is what is the logic of bubble sort okay so this is how you can solve it in java as well as this is how you can sort it in python code as well okay i hope you like this video okay please like and subscribe my channel okay i'll see you in the next one